We're here at the Liberty County slash River City race day. Uh, we have these every year, kind of September, October. This year's was pushed back slightly due to the revamp in the city. But um, we have six of the best races in River City coming to compete for the, well, for the trophy that we've got a very, very nice trophy, I do have to say, custom printed in the city here. We've got a GTR up front. We've got a Dodge in third. Uh, we've got another Dodge over there, another GTR, Mustang. And uh, today we're going to be driving driving, well, I guess you could call it a safety car, we're going to be driving at the back here, we're ensuring that there's no uh, crashes, instances, cars breaking down, and if there is, we can easily and quickly roll out EMTs and assist them, because we want everyone to be safe and we want everyone to have a good time here today. So everyone's just having a quick final check of their vehicle, we're going to be starting about five minutes from now. It's uh, about to turn 9pm, sun is, oh, sorry, moon's already rising, sunset, and it's a lovely, kind of chilly autumn day. We've got, a, we've got a couple of people here to watch this race. They've come down here 9 p.m., but uh, coming down here to watch and support their favorite races. And it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. So we're just going to head to the back, prepare our car. We've also got the race director down here as well, who's going to be riding with me in the passenger seat here. And yeah, let's just see here. So final check to the vehicle. Uh, the course is a pretty, pretty easy one to remember, honestly. You head straight down Riverside. You're going to turn onto the highway, head down the highway, and essentially a big loop of the county. So a nice big track, I believe 3.5 kilometers in length, and uh, should get me hopefully some nice overtaking action involved here. Uh, yeah, races should be safe. We do this every year and uh, very minimal crashes. So what's the problem over here? We've got a missing wheel. Oh, they've got a puncture. Oh, right, right. Uh, let me go and, go and find you some uh, DOT, actually. We've got a puncture over here before the race. Uh, let's see if we've got any DOT around here. I unfortunately don't have anything that could help that or a spare tire for... Is that a Dodge? That is a Dodge. Don't worry, uh, DOT is... Yeah, DOT has been called. They should be able to fix that. Doesn't look too bad, so uh, there you go. DOT's just arrived on the scene now. Uh, so yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry, we'll get that fixed. Uh, you've got a couple more minutes before the race starts. The red Dodge, they've got a punctured front right tire. If you could uh, patch that up quickly, that'd be appreciated, thanks. Shouldn't have to put the push the start back. All right, everything's set here. We've got a puncture on the red Dodge, but apart from that, all the races are ready, so we should be ready to start in time. DOT's just fixing that, but I think we should be ready to go. Uh, yeah, officers are here just to ensure everyone's safety. And then we do have fire department waiting at the station and fire department around the track as well. Right, let's just go and check up on the status of this uh, car up here, see if the tire is fixed, and then I think we should be ready. It's patch up. Okay, perfect. I think we should be ready here. Right, all right, racers seem to be getting into their cars, so we're going to hop into ours as well. Where have you got engines and uh, ambulances around the track? Just wondering, because I didn't get uh, forwarded the map. I assume fire at the station. All right, all right, that makes sense. You'll be falling behind. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, thanks. All right, uh, you know the course as well, right? So it's pretty pretty straightforward, it's essentially. Only a couple roads. Yeah, we've got an extinguisher in our trunk, so that should all be fine for us. Yeah. Uh, I think we should be starting in the two, next two minutes, so let's just hop in our car. We'll go and follow behind safely there. Uh, we've got a race director with the laptop as well, just to keep track of the race footage. We get a nice view of the race. Hold on, I'm rolling. All right, the countdown has initiated. Five, four, three two one and off we go the race has begun all right the race is off the races are off here let's go ahead and follow all right here we go we are off so all the races seem to have got off to a nice start here let's just go and put uh, the cruise lights on perfect right so all the races off to a nice start we have the blue gtr slowing at the back but uh seem to be following yeah track seems to be clear all right going down underneath the overpass there sector one is all clear well, RCPD happily waving everyone through. These are the nice community events that we like to see around the county there. Uh, we're going to follow the GTR. Let's just go and stay to this side of the road there. GTR is a lot faster than this Mustang. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is going on up here? Right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, broken, I'm broken. Okay, uh, okay, I'm going to go and park the car here so we don't have any vehicles flying down there. Okay, get EMS and uh, fire department down here quick, quick, quick. Let's go. Get the extinguisher at the back of the trunk there. Okay. There we go, get fire department rolling down. Let's get fire department rolling down here quick. What happened there? I'm going to move the vehicle up so we can get uh, FD and DOT up here as well. Why are there cones here? What? What? Are, uh, sorry, what are the cones doing here? 
Uh, I don't know why DOT have cones set up in the middle of the highway, but they're supposed to be racing down the highway. Let's go, let's go. Move in with the extinguishers, move in with the extinguishers. Fire department, not entirely sure why they're not here yet, because police had a quicker response time, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's, let's get a fire extinguisher out here and uh, help there. Okay, we've got a vehicle fire over there on... Is that the Dodge? Okay, let's get everyone away. Everyone, let's get back, please. We can sort out whatever DOT was doing here after. Okay, let's get back. Help me, help me drag them out of here. Get back, move back, move back, move back. All right, let's get everyone back, please. Move back, the smoke's... Where is the smoke? Okay, yeah, wind's heading north. Everyone get out there, please. What in the world we've caused... Hold on, this isn't part of the race. This is just someone on the highway. Okay, what in the world? Fire department just arrived. They're going to move in stretches and everything now. They're supposed to turn. They're not. I'm not sure... Hold up, why? All right, I'm not entirely sure why there are cones put up there, but the plan... The plan wasn't for them to turn, right? They were meant to go straight down, so I'm not sure there's some sort of... Hey, there's some sort of communication error because DOT was supposed to set up the cones blocking that entrance, not diverting the races off. Okay, right, they don't know. Uh, there, there must have been some sort of miscommunication problem here. Apparently there's a miscommunication with the directors and the DOT at the race plan for weeks. Uh, I... No, it's supposed to go down the highway. It's been like that for years. I'm not entirely sure what's gone, but let's just get up and... Let's just help. Excuse me. Hey, where are you going? It's your car over here. Okay, is that your is that your vehicle on top of the barriers over there? Yeah, okay, right. That's yours. Okay, come on. Let's get you. Can we just get you over here, please? That looks like a pretty big impact. I'm guessing they were driving down the highway unaware of this. Okay, all right. Come over here. Let's just get you checked up by EMTs. Because we've had a race on here and DOT of the highway closed off. Driving normally. Right, where were you heading? Where are you heading this evening? Because it's 9.20. That's why you turned off. Right. And what can you explain to me what happened? So you were driving along, uh, heading to Springfield, and what happened? Why Why is your car on the side of the uh, crash barrier? So a car rear-ended you and flipped you onto the barrier. Is that, is that what happened? Okay. Right. You're going to need to tell that all again to an officer, but thank you for letting me know. Must have been some sort of communication error, but yeah. Sorry, can you follow me over here? Let's just get you away from this. Let's go and follow me just down here. And uh, if you can wait over by this uh, ambulance for the time being, okay? We're going to have a medic check up on you in a moment. I just need you to stay out of the way of uh, fire and rescue and uh, the med other emergency services, okay? All right, no worries, no worries. I apologize about this as well. I think we've got enough ambulances here. We've got two ambulances currently on scene. Apparently more can be requested uh, when those two fill up. But uh, if all the fires are out, everyone is accounted for. But the main, the main problem with this all is why did this happen? Of course, we had DOT who set up the cones there, but I'm not entirely sure why the racers didn't see it. I just saw the collision of all the vehicles. I didn't see the cones set up uh, wrong, so I'm not entirely sure. All right, we're going to have to get a crane to get some of these off of the barriers there, because that's wedged on top of the barriers. We're not going to be able to roll that off. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I think we've just got some questions to answer here about what happened. This isn't an official event or anything. This is kind of something we run voluntarily, so... I'm guessing they have some questions about what happened here. SCRT, Specialized Collision and Reconstruction Team. Never heard of that division before. I'm trying to get the details to fill in my report. Do you know what happened? Okay, so, well, we're trying to figure this out ourselves, honestly. But all I know for certain at the moment is there was a miscommunication problem with, with DOT and the race directors. And essentially, DOT, for some reason, set up uh, barriers directing the races off and the road wasn't closed off properly. Uh, therefore, we had um, one or two civilians on the road. It wasn't as bad as if we had it at the daytime, but, you know, it could have been better. The race happens every year. It's the same every year. It goes around the highway, so I'm, I'm still not entirely sure how... We got this so wrong, but uh, I'll let you know once we do come to a conclusion. Uh, well, the race is authorized by the city uh, mayor's office, but we get permission to close off these roads and uh, we get permission to host the race. We do have RCFD on standby as a voluntary position, um, but it's not an official race in any kind of sort of means. It's just a, it's a, it's a race we host for the, the citizens of the city every year. How many checks were made? We do checks a week before to make sure that the road surface is uh, ready for racing. That's why this year was delayed. And then, of course, we check in with DOT. But uh, for some reason, that check with DOT before the race obviously didn't go to plan. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure on that. You'll have to talk to one of my uh, directors because they'll have more information for you. 
Alright, no worries, no worries. I've just got to sort this out. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, crazy event. Crazy event. But I'm, I'm glad everyone, well, at least most people have been rescued to some extent and are being taken to hospital now. In the, what is it, maybe 12 years of running this, we've never had it end up like this. It's it's unfortunate to see because I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to run this next year after this collision and mismanagement. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do go and consider subscribing to help out the channel a lot. Massive thanks for taking part in today's video. If you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers and Roblox groups. Links in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.